Video games are cooler than TV. Hi, I'm Chris Gethard, and I'm on TV, which proves my point. Video games are cooler than TV. When I was in third grade, my parents got me Mike Tyson's punch out, and I could almost fly through that game. Right before you get to Tyson, you have to face Super Macho Man, and I could never beat him. And he was a jerk about it. He would shake his pecs like a cool cat while Mario was counting me out like meh, 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 meh. And, and Super Macho Man, I am not kidding, remains to this day legitimately one of my least favorite people. And he's not even real. He's an 8-bit bully with a weird silver mullet. And you can tell him I said that. My sophomore year at college, I finally beat Super Macho Man for the first and only time. When I did so, I fell to my knees and I cried. It was one of the happiest moments of my life. It ranked somewhere between the day I got married and the day we grabbed David Letterman's set out of a dumpster. More details on that in the coming weeks. The lawyers are sorting all of that out. And let me remind you, I did not even beat the game. Tyson knocked me out right away. And I know it is sad that I'm this happy about beating the second to last character in a video game, but it took me 12 years. We were only in Vietnam for nine. But when I beat him, you know, I really felt like I accomplished something. I wanna make a TV show that makes you feel the way I did that day. The euphoria of accomplishing something mixed with the shame of knowing that what you accomplished was really tiny and took way too long. <laughs> the best way I can do that is to turn our TV show into a video game, specifically a loving tribute to the game no one ever really loved, Duck Hunt. <laughs> I'm joined by my friend Wyatt Cenac tonight. You probably know him from his kick-ass stand-up special, Brooklyn on Netflix, his many appearances over the years on The Daily Show. And he and I, we're gonna take a hard, long look at video games, the good side, the bad side, and most important of all, the unpredictable side. Maybe we win tonight, or maybe this show turns into Super Macho Man and it beats our ass. <laughs> we'll all find out together. But first, Wyatt and I are gonna dress as ducks and you blukies get to shoot us with a gun. Murph, let's go! Good evening, weirdos! Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show with sidekick Shannon O'Neill, internet liaison Bethany Hall, the preacher from the sea, the human bitch, the greatest house band in the world, the LLC. We got comedian Wyatt Cenac. Later on, we'll have a hell of a dance party to the tunes of EKB Shakedown. I'm a Murph. I'm a gonna win. Now, let's give it up for our host, Chris Gethard. All right, ladies and gentlemen, physically, this is already a very bad idea. Uh, Wyatt, you had a lot of fun with that. I was fearful from second one. Oh, you were doing hand walks, swinging. Well, some of it was just I had to survive. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight, I mentioned in the monologue, we're talking video games. Do you like games? I enjoy video games. The thing you were talking about with Punch-Out, I had that with Legend of Zelda. And I remember the sense of accomplishment beating it, but also realizing just how simple it was. But for whatever reason, as like a 12-year-old, this was the hardest thing in the world. Yeah. And to, as an adult, do it, I was just like, oh, I was a moron. <laughs> My, my game was a computer game called Leisure Suit Larry. Oh, good. Of course. Of course but you I was playing, playing a it on like, I was, yeah, it's a porno game. I really, really hope one of our fans takes this as an opportunity to completely rewrite Leisure Suit Larry and call it Sweatshirt Shannon. <laughs> and it's you as the main character and otherwise same exact game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are proud to present to you Human Duck Hunt, which is a part of our episode tonight. Video games killed the television star. All right, now a legal disclaimer before we get started. This does not have anything to do with the actual Duck Hunt game. Any similarities or uh, whatever, but I mean, <laughs> it's all good. Legal That's disclaimer. That's not what you told me. Legal you disclaimer. You said we're totally ripping off Nintendo here. <laughs> you said, hey, Nintendo, come at me. My name's Chris Gethard, and I have the best lawyers around. <laughs> Yeah, that works too, that works too. So Bethany, who's our first person playing Human Duck Hunt tonight? Let's talk to Allison. Allison, welcome to the show. How are you? 
Hey, good. How are you guys doing? Good. So tell us about your experience with video games. How have they affected your life? Well, so my husband plays a lot of them. Oh, He's how's, a big gamer. How's that work out? Um, <laughs> well, he actually plays a lot of games as me. What? He uses my, my likeness in my name. So how does that make you feel psychologically? There's a um, lot of layers there, if you ask me. Yeah, I think it's his way of, you know, having me interact with him and the games when I'm not really that into it. This is after you guys got married. Like, this wasn't one of those things that he'd been doing for 10 years before you <laughs> met. No, no, it's only uh, since we've been together. I would love if that was how you guys met. If he like grabbed you in a bar and he's like, I make you and I play as you. <laughs> and that's how you got together and now you're married. Would you like to play human duck hunt? I would love to. Okay. So also, would you like to play as your husband or will you be playing as yourself? Oh, I'm gonna play as James for sure. All right, All right. so James, let's do it. Human duck hunt once again begins. Oh God. Whee! Fire. Oh, Whoa. I'm sorry you missed. That is the end of human duck hunt. Allison, that of course Hello. means you will be taunted by the duck hunt dog played by Shannon O'Neill. <laughs> Ask your husband to let you out of that basement! <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, yeah. now why, I don't think I told you about this, but we wanted to do a thing where we feel like people can get to know you a little bit better. So if you're willing, I was hoping you would stare silently into that camera for about eight seconds. In a se here? Yes, right there. Right. We're doing a segment we call Stare Into a Celebrity's Soul. <laughs> so quiet in the studio, please. Let's get a close-up. All right, I think we got that. I think we got I'm willing to move on. All right. all right, thank you so much. I feel like they all know you so much better now. Bethany, who's up next? Who wants to play Human Duck Hunt? Let's talk to David. David, welcome to the show. How have video games affected your life? So I have these recurring dreams that take place in the world of GoldenEye on Nintendo 64. You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. I had the same thing in college, same thing. Where it always, same game? Where you run down, you're running down hallways constantly. You all should never get in the same room. <laughs> you're gonna melt. You're gonna, it's gonna be like a time cop situation. You're gonna touch each other and just melt into a human goo. Let's go ahead, let's play Human Duck Hunt. You ready? Let's do it. Human Duck Hunt begins! Oh God. Whee! Fire! Oh, you got him, you got him. You got him, congratulations. Oh, oh, oh. Get up, damn it. I didn't know what you were doing. Wow, so you got taken down. Congratulations, you're the first winner at Human Duck Hunt. How do you feel? Do you feel that sense of accomplishment right now? I feel amazing, Chris. Well, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for, is to make you feel good. I'm sorry, how was that? That drop seemed very severe. No, it was fine, but I just realized it doesn't seem right that I'm in the front and you're in the back. <laughs> this was clearly set up for you to never get hit. Air fight! Air fight! Air fight! Air fight! Air fight! Air fight! Oh no! Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Air Bethany, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> that was very dangerous. Let's get back to the calls, right? Bethany, who's on Skype, for real? Let's talk to Josh from California. Josh from California, welcome to the show. How have video games affected your life? Uh, so as a kid, I uh, gave myself stitches playing Minesweeper. You gave yourself? <laughs> That's the least active game I've ever heard of. That's correct. Ended up getting so entrenched in you know this, this expert mode of Minesweeper that I slid off the desk, blood just streaming down my face. Ended up getting like five stitches like right here between my eyebrows. That's a really bad story for you, but I bet the creators of Minesweeper have never felt cooler. <laughs> no. All right, you ready to play some Human Duck Hunt? Uh, sure, yeah. Human Duck Hunt! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's hefty. This is a big swing right here. Fire. Oh! <laughs> I hate you. 
You're my best friend, but I hate you. <laughs> All right, I'm being told that we have time for one more call, Bethany. Who are we talking to? Luis! Luis, hey. welcome to the show. Well, I've been addicted to video games, and I'm trying to pursue a new direction in my life. So when you say, like, addicted to the point you have to stop, how, like, what are we talking, how severely does this affect your life? Uh, it's to the point where I would choose that over socializing and other things. So how long since you've kicked the habit? Honestly, it's been a week. A week? Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. So first of all, that's awesome. And how's it been? Do you, how, like, how have your habits been changing? Oh, dude, I've been uh, picking up guitar again. That's awesome. Is there, like, a favorite song you like to play? Uh, Everlong by the Foo Fighters. You got your guitar uh, nearby? Well, it's not tuned. And that song is copyrighted. <laughs> You've already yes. said your lawyers are great. Dave Grohl, get at me, bro. <laughs> not me, Chris Gethard. You can't, because your lawyers aren't good enough. No one can take down Chris Gethard and his lawyers. All right, Luis, I, 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 I'm in a weird quandary here, because I'd love, if you want to play Human Duck Hunt, I'm down, but I also don't want to uh, tempt you back into gameplay. I don't know if that'll like push an adrenaline bus button or something, seriously. Because I, I don't, um, I myself don't drink and I wouldn't want to play some game where I had to drink, even in a small way. Uh, I'm good, man, but well, thank you. Awesome, thank you so much, thank you so much. Man, am I glad I asked. That was great, thank you for opening up to us, very brave of you. When we come back, we're gonna talk about addiction, don't go away. See if you can find ways to screw him. Welcome back to The Chris Gethard Show. We're here with my friend Wyatt. We're talking about video games all night long. Now, if you want to get involved in this show, you go to our chat room at thechrisgethardshow.com. Guess what? Bethany's in there right now. Bethany, how are the chat room kids reacting to this? Brad from North Carolina says that this show feels like a grown-up version of Nickelodeon. A grown-up version? <laughs> well, let's go ahead and bleep the name of another network. <laughs> no. No. Wyatt. Wyatt. <laughs> Nickelodeon, come get some. <laughs> Uh, we're about to take uh, more calls, have more discussions about this very important topic. Before I do, I should mention, we paid a lot to get this rigging. It was a big chunk of our budget. So we want to make sure we get the most out of it. Shannon's just going to be hanging out up there for this act. <laughs> Shannon, how you doing up there? You having fun up there, Shannon? Oh, yeah, I can't wait to piss on you. <laughs> <laughs> While Shannon's up there doing that, We'll be talking right now with an actual psychotherapist who deals often with video game addiction. Uh, Keely Teamsma, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me today. Oh, no, please. So nice of you. So um, you run into video game addiction a lot is what I'm hearing. I do. I do. I'm seeing it more and more in younger adults all the time. What do you think? What about video games? Like, what are they built to be addictive? Do people just fall into it? What happens there? Absolutely. All the new video games are really, really addictive because of all like the bright lights and flashing colors. They trigger this weird dopamine response and we get addicted to that dopamine response. Weird question, are there like gateway games? Are there people who you meet and you're like, it, it always starts through this one game or is there is there a game to watch out for? I really don't know that it's any one particular game, but I think World of Warcraft has definitely been a gateway game. Shannon, any more questions yeah. while you're up there? How long do you think my labia will keep tingling once Shannon, I'm down? Shannon, never mind. <laughs> you don't need to answer that question. <laughs> Keely, you are a professional, and you do not have to answer any questions yeah. about my friend Shannon's labia, and I apologize for that. She looks like she's got a lot of degrees on her wall. It's got to cover one of them. That's true. <laughs> Uh, well, Keely, thank you so much for joining us. This was a really fascinating conversation, and I, I feel like we're acting like actual grown-ups on this show for once, so thank you for that. Yay, thank you. Please, so enlightening. We have to go to a commercial right now, but why not go check out our Tumblr while we're doing that? Just ask us a question. We will probably answer it. We have nothing else going on. When we come back, hey. we're gonna introduce two friends from World of Warcraft who have never actually met. Stick around. Hey guys, you're watching The Chris Gethard Show, and if you're not getting that dopamine response, just do what I do and blame the controller. Why? Where's my dopamine? And now, back to The Cricket, Chris. Welcome back to The Chris Gethard Show. Now, I'm excited about this. If you go to thechrisgethardshow.com right now, you will have the chance to play a brand new video game that we made this week. It was made by one of our great friends, Yard Infant. Uh, <laughs> 
Yardiff and it's the best. Now, you might remember at the top of the show, I was talking about how Mike Tyson's punch out almost broke me for over a decade. Well, we made our own game called Chris Gethard's Hug Out. <laughs> it's very simple. You go there, you'll see me standing there, you type in something you're sad about, and I hug you, and that's the whole game. And you cannot lose at the game. And if you put anything in that you're particularly happy about, screen grab it, send it to us. We'd love to see it. I really do want to see how Chris Gethard's hug out. Turns out, human fish, this has been a very wild night. What's on your mind? Bowser versus Doogie Hauser. Wow! <laughs> Bowser versus Doogie Hauser. Who wins? Bowser. Bowser. Now, I am very excited to welcome our guests for our last bit here. Uh, please take these sacks off your head. We should not have made you wear these. Maria and Malachi, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Okay. <laughs> I did not know that was coming, Noah and Drew. I am mad at you. Please take the blindfolds off as well. Good visual gag, you jerks. All right, let's explain this. You've never actually met in person is what I understand. Not once. All this right. is the closest we've, we've ever physically been. This is the closest you've ever physically been. And we should explain, you have friends in the world of Warcraft. You've played together for seven years, is what I'm hearing? Probably about seven and a half now. Wow, seven and a half years. And Malachi, would you, you guys are tight, huh? Yeah, definitely. Wow, all right. Well, I thought it was really interesting when I heard your story. So we've designed a thing tonight to test whether or not you can truly know someone if you've never actually met. In a segment we are calling The Dating Gamers. <laughs> We're not implying that you're dating, of course. This is a dating game parody is what's going on, just to be clear, everybody. <laughs> now, I'm gonna ask you three questions. If you get two out of three right, that's awesome. We will wreck this barrier. You'll meet for the first time here on our show. It'll be an emotional moment, and I love it. Now, if you don't get them right, a lot of shows would fake this, but I'm telling you, we will do it for real. Malachi, Shannon will escort you out of this building to your car and watch as you drive back to Baltimore. <laughs> We will send you back and you guys can meet on somebody else's dime. I don't care. Is everybody ready? Question one. You're thrashing orcs in the frozen tundras of the north with your real life oldest sibling. What is that person's first name? I have a feeling I think Drew generated these questions and he worked a little too hard to tie them into Warcraft. The question is, what is your oldest sibling's first name? What is the first name of your oldest sibling? Let's everybody write that down. Maybe they should hold hands. Oh, oh, I will say this. Maria, maybe place your hand up against this spandex barrier right here. Malachi, maybe your hand right there, right here. Look at that. Separated by, separated by one thin strip of fabric. Bethany, great, great call. The emotional manipulation is through the roof. It's a ratings bonanza here on The Chris Gethard Show. Tugging at the heartstrings. Okay, let's go with the answers. Murph, just read them out, random order. Randomly, number one, Charles Manson. Randomly, number two, Jofana. Jofana? Murph, you had a couple? Show them up in my direction. Okay, so I'm seeing uh, Bill Nor the Destroyer, Johanna, and Charles Manson. I Murph. got Manson right, I mean. So you think it's Bill Nor the Destroyer, Charles Manson, or Johanna? I have to say, I don't even know if he has an older sibling. Wow. Well, let's use deduction. Do you think his older sibling? <laughs> It's Charles Manson or Bill Noor or Johanna. I feel like Manson wouldn't be him. Uh -huh. I don't think so. That's a well-known serial killer. I think I want to go for Johanna just because it's a real name. Johanna, you are correct. You are one for one. Well done. Well done. Question two. Let's hypothesize that the plainsmen of the north have raided an orc village. You have only a broadsword and two arrows on your person, and there's a stash of gold under one of the orcs' huts. Who is your favorite musician? <laughs> and the question is just, who is your favorite musician? Let's take some time, write down, who is your favorite musician? Murph, random order, let's read them out. Let's try to get them right, buddy. Yeah, my double vision betrayed me last go around. Uh, me without you. Me without you. Dave Grohl and his lame-ass lawyers. <laughs> Dave Grohl and his lame-ass lawyers. And Charles Manson, please send fan mail to another cult leader, Chris Gethard, 885 Second <laughs> Avenue, Level C, New York, New York. Okay, very, very random. Now, if you get this right, this barrier, I don't even know I'm getting rid of it. I'll be so happy, I'm gonna knock it down. Maria, what is your guess? Me without you. All right, Murph. That's correct. <laughs> 
Look at this, real life friends meeting for the first time in person. The Chris Gathered Show. I want to thank everybody who watched tonight, everybody who spreads word about what we're doing here. I want to thank my friend Wyatt, most of all. So nice of you to come by and fly around and put your actual health on the line for this dumb show. I am very, very lucky to call you a friend. Thank Anything you for, for you, Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Most of all, thanks to our lawyer, Sam, who's going to shut down everybody who steps at us. Yeah. Yeah. We are so happy that we have a whole area of our studio that's just for musical performances. That area is called that corner over there where music happens. And it is sponsored by the fine folks at AT&T. We still have a sponsor. We have, they have not dumped us yet. I am amazed and shocked. And thank you, AT&T, for trying to support something underground. It's very, very cool of you. Ladies and gentlemen, coming at you tonight from that corner over there where music happens, so happy to welcome to the show our friends. It can be Shakedown! <laughs> Ducks weren't the only ones flying high tonight. I was zooted. Now head over to thechrisgethardshow.com for all your TCGS needs. Watch web-only clips and hang out with our other weirdos in the 24-hour chat rooms. Plus, to check out Ikebe Shakedown's full set, head to Fusion's channel on Apple TV. This is Murph saying, if you're gonna throw a barrel at me, it better be full of whiskey. Reboot.